Greetings hobbyists, this is Arthur Sands of Vool, and in this video we're having a look at nSolve's Dissolve tool. So let's go into vertex mode here and start nSolve, and we've got the Dissolve tool right here, and this is awesome. Effectively, it is taking the job of you selecting a vertex, in fact let's come out of this, select that vertex, and then press Ctrl and X, and then it dissolves the vertex. Or you go into edge mode, select here Ctrl and X to dissolve that edge. And each time you're having to hit Ctrl and X and it's very tedious. Whereas if we just come into the dissolve function, what that allows us to do is click and as soon as you drag over an edge and you release, it will dissolve that edge. This makes this very, very fast to do and you can just keep going with it. It's absolutely brilliant. I don't need to each time hit Ctrl and X to do things, though do note it has made an assumption here which we might not want it to do. So if I hit D, you can see that we've got this option here to dissolve verts, we can get rid of that, and then if we just come and click and do it, it will not make that assumption, and then for example, I could hold down Shift and just slide that along. So it depends what works in each situation. And it's great that we've got the power to pick exactly what we want to do here. So some finesse here, what this will do is as you click and drag, if you don't like the first one and you drag onto another or another, it will pick the last thing that you've dragged over. So it's not like if you've done it and you've picked the wrong place, it's gonna cause you a problem. The final part of this tool that we want to look at, if I hit D, is we've got this split of face. I think this is meant to be split off face from the text in the description and maybe a slight typo, but it adds an interesting option here, which is it's gonna get nSolve to start considering the geometry around this object or around the edge that we're going to dissolve. Now, we'll have a look at this and it will look like it's not really doing much work, but we'll talk about it in a second. But if I was to not have this available and I clicked there, we're going to create what's actually going to be an engon because this vertex is going to be left. Now, if we go back and I click split off face, and do that, it's gonna try and maintain this geometry, but it looks like it hasn't done a very good job. Now that's actually because I haven't done enough cleanup. There's some vertices here and here that are causing a problem. So let's just go back, go into vertex mode. What I'm gonna do is collapse this to there and collapse this one to there. That's using the collapse feature. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link in the description. And now if I come and do this, you'll notice that it's trying to maintain the geometry as best as it can while dissolving the edge that I've requested. So that is what the split off face does, but it does require the surrounding geometry to be relatively good. Hopefully that's covered the options of this tool clearly enough. If it hasn't, please do let me know in the comment section or if you've got any other questions about any of the other tools in nSolve. And if it was useful, please do hit that like button. It helps with the video being recommended for other people who are looking for what nSolve does. Have a great day, guys.